What's up guys? Uh, if you guys are wondering, this is a uh, gameplay on survival and survival on resistance. And also, if you guys are wondering in starting the video, the reason I started recording this is because the juggernaut somehow spawned inside the truck or some shit. And uh, I'm sorry if I don't have something fresh to give you guys, you know, some fresh gameplay or whatever. This gameplay is actually 25 minutes long. And I don't know how long my commentary is going to be, but it's pretty much under 15 minutes. If you guys don't know who I am, I'm Windstorm, aka okay, Man Winder. You know, I fucked your mama last night, no, I'm joking. But, uh, yeah, I do uh, gameplays and shit, and, yeah, if you guys like it, you know. Oh, well, yeah, sorry if I'm not, uh, you know, up to my normal standards. I don't really have standards, but, yeah, I'm eating right now, too. It's, like, 12 at night. And, um, man, get the fuck out of my way. Okay. So I wanted to talk about how shit works in the world, and just, you know, this fucked up with shit. This fucked up shit that happens. Uh, one, <laughs> one thing I want to talk about was, uh, one of my friends, uh, not naming him, but in, uh, this certain class, we had to do this project, and, um, he originally had, uh, told me what he's gonna do. So like say in this in this class we we're told that we had to do this project on this, this is not the class but I say we were in a computer class and they said you have to program something and like it doesn't matter what it is just something and uh, he said he's gonna make a gay video game and uh, I copied him so I said I'm gonna make a video game too but say he said I'm gonna make a first person shooter video game and I said I'll sure I'll do that too. I stole that original you know, thought that he had, but the idea that I have is way different than what he has. And this is very basic because if you just think of it, like it's friggin' uh, like it's like like Infinity Ward and like freaking Infinity Ward and uh. Uh, act, or was it EA making uh, first person shooters? They like originally have the same idea, but what the output is different. So, what happened was he couldn't actually get it done, so he messaged me on like, you know, shit. I'm not telling him that, but Facebook, but. And he told me that he didn't know how to do it, so I told him I'd help out, and I told him to give me credit. We had a little battle, I'm not sure if he gave me credit, but. You know, whatever. But. He said that uh, he gave me the idea, and I after this is after I showed him like what I did, and uh, eventually when I actually saw what he did is just way different than mine. Like he he didn't want to change his fully, like if you understand what I mean. And oh yeah, and this this one we 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 go on this like glitch on this thing. It's not a glitch, but it's kind of a weird thing. Also, you guys can put a turret right here and just shoot. You know, for certain maps, I would say this turret's not that good. Even though it's like you know powerful, I'd say go for the other turret. Maybe this turret takes too long to like reload and shit, but you know. If you guys got any information on like the gun damage and like the turret damage and all that, or the predator missile damage, please rate or please comment in the you know comment box or whatever below. And yeah, so that's what he originally told me. He told me that he wasn't gonna put it in, you know put in that I helped him out. And I was kind of mad, but you know, I was like, oh, look at this triple quad. But, um, I was pretty mad, you know, like, like, what the hell? I don't even credit. And, I don't know, man, I was just pissed off. But, I just, that was just like how the world works, you know? Like, I'm a nice guy, see, he's not like, you know, he's a nice guy, but he's more like conservative, if you think about it. Like, like, if I were to say I was like, like I like helping people and uh, I'm nice like I'd say he's more like like say you needed help on your assignment and uh, it was due today and the teacher asked you to hand it in I would help you out with it before I handed it in he would actually go hand it in you know I don't really like people like that but you know whatever it's the world and <clears throat> just showing you guys how that's how the shit works oh yeah I don't know why I paused it here sorry if you guys have to watch this. Um, from brother probably did some stupid shit, but wait. If you guys check out my other video, I'll have I had like 
so like what's eighty thousand dollars in res uh, fucking uh, on survival mode is pretty sick, guys. Also, oh yeah, um, for the giveaway, um, I think I'm gonna decide that even though it's ending December first, I'll give away all the shit, and then if I get two, three thousand views or five thousand views, then I'll give out Modern Warfare three, or just make a new video. But and the next thing I wanna talk about is kind of messed up. It's the same thing how the world works, but. My dad, he owns a car wash, um, and uh, uh, well, when he opened it up, I, uh, I was working with him, like uh, me and my brother and my sister, we had to help out because it was just starting out and shit, and it's probably the worst thing I did, not because it was hard, because there's a lot of smokers where I live, and I don't like smokers, plus I have heart problems, so that's a double, double no-no, you know what I'm saying, but um, I really hated it, but after, uh, after I got, uh, after like, I decided that I would start doing this like modding Xboxes and JTAGs, and that's what I've been doing this week right now. I'm gonna do some JTAGs for some customers, and um, and that's what I've been doing, man. I think the audio is off by like maybe millisecond, ten milliseconds or something, but yeah. So I've decided to do that. So that's how I got out of that. But what happened was I think about three years ago, two years ago, when I was there one time. I think it was during the winter time. Oh yeah, this is where we try to go up the thing. But during the winter time, oh yeah, on this map they come I think around around 10, 15, 20, 26, 30 something something. And you guys can see where I'm trying to get up. But so what happened was uh so you get up on that thing and jump. So what happened is this white guy, like there's a lot of white people where I live, but you know I'm I'm from like the Toronto area where it's more multicultural, but I moved to like a suburb area sort of thing. But it's not it's not that uh, you know. So you know. Also, yeah, try to aim for the head when you guys you know get that shit. But yeah, so this white guy. Uh, um, if you guys know me, I'm not racist, but this white guy was, uh, he's, uh, I'm pretty sure he's a racist, though, what happened was, he said, um, I don't know how the hell this started out, but he was talking, oh, I think he was asking where my parents were from and shit, because they don't see many, uh, Indian people there, but I think he was asking something like that, and then he said, uh, like, like, there's been, like, times where at the, at the car wash I've been, one like, really pissed off and wanted to, like, kick somebody's ass, but... I don't know, I just, I didn't felt like I didn't want to because first I'm, I don't want to like kick anyone's ass because I'm a nice guy, but I don't want to get in trouble with my dad because then I'm going to get my ass ripped and shit and he's going to perceive something really different like this one time, uh, he thought I messed up the, the like cars going to conveyor and I was, uh, I was in the inside a car and what happens, the car started rolling back and shit like it didn't make it and, um, yeah, I tried to kind of fuck up here, but yeah, like, he, he uh, thought I was in the car, and I never knew he thought that, but what happened was, uh, the car went back or some shit, and the lady was pissed off because one of her bumpers broke off, I think, or some shit, like, I don't know what happened, it was that bad, but my dad was really pissed off at me and shit, and he, like, hit me a few times, you know what I'm saying, and I was like, but, um, he was really mad at me, and, uh, then I told him that I wasn't in the car, and, uh, then he's like, oh, like, for three hours he wouldn't talk to me or some shit, but, after he found out I wasn't in the car, and I was like, yeah, yeah, I was in the car, he thought I was, so, like, that's what I meant, like, if I beat somebody up, or hit somebody, or some somebody got their ass kicked, he might think that I, I did something on purpose, and they kicked my ass for no reason, so I didn't want to do that, but he said, um, he said, uh, something about immigration, about us coming to Canada, and shit, and then he talked about, like, how the, the Europeans and like the Americans brought like the the Negroes. That's what he actually said. He said Negroes. Then the niggers. That's what he said. Um, you'll never hear see hear me saying Negro because I don't know. I'm just. I think that's more really offensive. Like nigger is like. It depends what context you're using it. Like when I use it, I don't say like to a black person nigger go get me this. Like you know I'm not I'm not I'm not racist. I would say like. Nigga, that shit is crazy, you know? Like, I'm not saying, like, in the context, like, if I'm talking to a black person, I'm not saying that, like, you know, oh yeah, this is where you just hide your turret and just camp your ass. The turret, like, actually gets destroyed after a while, but... Yeah, like, that's what I mean, like, you know, it's out of context. Plus, 
you hear rappers and everybody saying too. I don't. I never mean it like in the way that they mean it, but or the way that like white people in like the you know 1900s and shit meant it when slave labor and all that shit was. And yeah, so he said uh, he started talking about black people and like how there's uh how the how they're in our city there's a lot more black people coming in multicultural and he said it's not our fault I'm like obviously it's not your fault why the hell it's not even a fault why would it be a fault like if we want to come here for a better life and shit plus it's not like you guys own earth we can go where the fuck we want to go okay like understand that shit you know I didn't say that to him I don't want to be mean but like understand that like obviously there's some limitations because you know there's law and all that shit that's the thing i hate so much the law and all that crap like in the way the world works like why can't i do this it's because the stupid people said this this and this like majority governments are fine but you know whatever but <coughs> like democracy and shit but um uh yeah so i was like to him um <coughs> yeah like uh, how is it a fault if somebody like you know if somebody wants to come here for a better life or some shit and then he's like oh I blame the, the North American and the Europeans for bringing the Negroes from here to America and then eventually the Americans uh, from the, the Negroes from America went into you know, Canada and all this other shit and I kept on telling him that uh, I didn't actually tell him but you know I kept on thinking like oh this guy's so ignorant and all this other shit he's fucking racist and he's like oh how it would be a lot better if they weren't here and shit and I'm like oh my god just you know I'm just like holy oh, shit like like there's a lot of racist shit like people like since I'm Indian people are always like oh you guys they're taking all their jobs this taxi jobs and these fucking computer jobs well we wouldn't be taking it because I'll tell you one thing like I don't know about like 99% of Hindus but I'm Sikh and uh my parents they work extremely hard like like my dad works super hard at his like work and all this like he, it's just how we are we are like I don't know about like other people but like I've noticed like like I'm not as hard working as him because I don't know maybe it's like you haven't worked in like the you know wait if these dogs get on you just keep taking and tapping the right stick in like pushing it but like it is how like you know shit is like He's super hardworking. Like I think I'm more like, like Canadian-ish. Like I'm lazy and shit. And that's the difference I think between them and white people. Like black people do like they're super hardworking. I think it's immigrants pretty much, or um, it's like they're so used to like, like dem I think it's probably democracy or it's like some shit like that because in an authoritarian government or like you know a dictatorship, everybody's pretty much poor and there's a few people that are rich. So everybody else has to work really hard and then in like a democracy pretty much there's like the rich the poor and then the middle class and lots of people in the middle class a little bit in the poor and a little bit in the rich so that's why the middle class is kind of you know lazy but they're always like um how the indians are taking this shit and the chinese are taking all the jobs for manufacturing they're making ipods and shit well guess what it's the big corporations they they want to make more money so they go to less labor cost countries you know if, if you understand what I'm saying there but so don't blame us we just we see opportunity for jobs well we jump at it and we learn and we we, we we become better and you know we just become smarter and we learn like if some job opening opened up they said like oh Ford's making new cars here not that many people would jump on that and be like oh we're gonna build uh, uh, we're gonna go to university again for a day no, people in fucking India would do that shit. You know, if you understand what I'm saying. This commentary is about to end, but <clears throat> if you guys understand what I'm saying there, you know the the way the world works, and also the that black the the white guy that said Negro, I'm a hundred percent sure he would never say that in front of a black person. Not that he's not scared to say it. It's because he is scared to say it because some fucked up as shit would probably happen. He probably like gets ass kicked, which I would probably want, but you know, whatever. If you guys want more commentaries like this, please rate, comment, subscribe, just leave a comment, sing some shit, I don't know, man. Leave a comment with the gamer tag and I'll be playing with you guys. I'm saying the next part of this will be uh, in another type of commentary, okay? I'm saying thanks for watching, guys. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Windstorm out.